strongly opinions about men and women's health and how they women's feel, rights how they feel like they can dictate our lives when they don't know what it's like to be us or walk into our shoes i swear if a man had a chance to walk inside a woman's shoes for a week he will fold he won't make it love and life dobson gang it's your girl jay it's your girl echo and we are the dobson yes yes we are and by the look of this title what's happening today we are going to come in with some juicy shiznits oh okay shiznits 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 y'all all right so you you want to hit it off or you want me to hit it off with the first the first component Bad by popular demand. Yes. We have. Who says women are required to have solicited advice from men? No one. Because they don't know what it's like to be a woman. Absolutely like, not. It's. I find it mind-boggling that men always have something to say about how a woman is brought up, how a woman walks around in this world, just how she shows up, period. Like, who, who are you? Like, how dare you? Like, how dare you? And you came from a woman. Exactly. <laughs> we, go, you, we give you life. Legit. And you but tell you, us how to live our life? Exactly. How Does no. that make sense? No. That makes n absolutely no sense to me. Not even how to, to dress and live, but, like, how to give birth, when to give birth, under the stipulations of when you can and cannot have an abortion. How about that? Sir, sir, keep your rights off my body. Yes, sir. It's not wanted. At all. What? At all. How dare you? Legit. So, we're gonna hit the next topic. What that next topic is. This next topic, so we got the phone because you know, we need some notes, right? Cause <laughs> Sexual liberation and empowerment are about choice. Absolutely. Absolutely. Take you. a moment. Take that in. Sexual liberation and yes. empowerment is about choice. Choice. Absolutely. The whole point is that women get to choose. Not that her ideal choice is for her to change based on your opinion absolutely not absolutely not that goes that that goes to show like if a woman decides she wants to run around here in less clothing because it's her choice it's 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 not your decision to dictate whether she can do it or not it's your choice to control yourself right i was gonna say that i was gonna say that so all that cat calling and all that, it, just let it go. Being followed. Let it go. Or like harming women because they turn you down because they're let not interested. Go. Grow up. Get them. Like learn to control yourself. Absolutely. Y'all are so quick to attack women for what they wear, but no one's holding you accountable for how you react and how you move about this world. Right. Therefore, we will say this. We are mothers to a 13-year-old boy and we definitely instill letting women have their freedom in the sexual harassment no it. therefore we're asking for all those women out there who have young men that they are raising please let's make sure that they are respecting women they are respecting women's boundaries and no is a no and also they know how to hold themselves accountable like Legit. they know when they fucked up and they can hold themselves to the higher extent of the law absolutely plain and simple Ab absolutely it's not that hard that was a good one i'm tired y'all me and listen example i walk our daughter to the bus stop i done been followed and during this whole school year cat called y'all dad called out my name just because i'm not interested sir i didn't actually have to call me so that i can meet her around the corner and i'm literally running running around the corner to make sure she wasn't going to be continuously followed by this gentleman that just would not understand the word no or even the fact that you're being blatantly ignored if you're being ignored social cues learn, learn social them cues. they're very important <laughs> absolutely absolutely our 
third topic. Femininity is seen as lower than masculinity in society. Yes. Agreed. Yes. Definitely agreed. Because women still get paid less than a man. We're viewed as less than a man. We have no seniority than a man, but yet we birth them. But yet, if you look behind every successful male, there is a woman there. But yet we get discredited. We All get the time. discredited. It's 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 really sickening how we can give life. Yes, yes, yes. It takes two, you know, there's there's twenty-three chromosomes from each partner. But yet we're not still treated equal in society. We're not viewed as equal in society, yet we're all still human in this society. But yet the male still is looked at as he's the king. You sit down, shut up. Your opinion doesn't matter. We're tired. As women, we are all tired. So we speak for all women when we say, speak up, have your voice heard, don't shut down for this society because this society does not respect us therefore we have to go hard or go home because we are at the top of the food chain and if you look at any statistics out here these days women are smashing the charts y'all they don't like it they can't handle it they can't handle it but we handle everything absolutely from raising children Ooh. being full-time entrepreneurs or working nine to fives and yes. still keeping the house together and still achieving goals and making sure our kids are able to achieve goals and chase their dreams yes and you still you somewhere in the midst you try, you probably find time for self-care if not you will eventually find time for self-care i'm still trying to find that balance but let, let, let's not belittle the fact that women not only are we moms we are maids we are nurses we are doctors. We are chefs. <laughs> Chauffeurs. <laughs> Chauffeurs. We're, like, we're, we're everything underneath the sun to bear these cubs. But how dare they go out in this world and be like, you know, even though I was raised from a woman, if you was raised from a woman, but you know, you was brought in this world from a woman, but don't give women the respect that they deserve. Time for change. We're going for it. The world, the world ladies, ladies, women, women it's, it's ours. Who run the world? We do. It made me want to be like... <laughs> but y'all wouldn't y'all wouldn't see my foot on that one, so it, it would have been it would have been pointless. Um, ooh, the next one. Rape is always the fault of the rapist, not something about the victim. That blows my mind because every time a woman is raped, they'd be like, "Oh, it was it was what she said or what she wore," and it's never on the account of his control. What he did, his accountability, how he showed up, and how he mistreated a woman who did not ask for but the consensual. Yes, it was, yes, yes, yes. No means I, no. No means no. I don't even know how many times we said that already in this video. No means no. Back up. Please. All the way up. To the back of the line. All the way. And it's, it's just, it's sickening how sad yes how this also goes to abortion like when a woman's raped you're, you're telling a woman that she can't get an abortion so yet she has to get up every day and look at this child she conceived out of non-consent have to grow up and glow up a with these children and have to live a dream she did not dream a dream she did not ask for a life that yes it's going to strengthen her but also too it brings her down at the same time because she is reminded every day of that action that happened but yet men yet again can tell a woman yes you can have an abortion no you can't have an abortion how about y'all actually get some vasectomies out here let's let's how about we snip this like what's going on and again learn how to control yourself not everyone is strong mentally and not everyone are bred to be parents at all so you're forcing women who may or may not want kids to have children Legit, like, but yet let us get up and walk out on our kids we, we the worst thing in the world but men can walk out on their kids all damn day and it's just free for all like i'm confused very confused i'm confuffled confuffled Absolutely, cause there ain't no, there ain't no way in the world that I would get raped and then someone looked at me and said, "Yo, 
You have to keep this kid. You're keeping it. No, I'm not. Well, you're going to have to send me to jail for life. Because... And the sad part about it, it's a man that's telling you you have to keep it, but it's the man that's actually walked away and who is no longer present. I'm Wild. I'm, I'm, I'm... Wild. Like, how dare you? How dare you? Yeah. Therefore, the rapist should take action for what he's done. Full accountability. And let this be about the woman and the and the fact that her temple was broken down. It was in Invaded. a vulnerable state. Yes. And it's now looked at as, okay, and? We are not property. You do not own us. No. I don't understand why you think you own us, but you do not. Girl, I don't know. I, I, I ain't never been owned. My ancestors was owned. And if I can go back to that time, I'll make sure I do anything in myself to go Harry ahead and put that fight. Be free man. Listen, free. so, rapist, chill out. Go get help. Women, stay strong, stay beautiful. You got this. Like I said, we at the top of the food chain. So we got to continue. <laughs> we got to continue to own our power, stand in our higher self, and just keep motivating each other and make sure that we stand up for our rights. And what we believe in. Yes, yes. We have morals and values out here. And as women, we are the shit. Always. Legit. Which brings us to our last topic of this video. Every woman is capable of breastfeeding. I know y'all seen the news lately. I know y'all seen this news lately. And it's, it's just, it's mind blowing that 192 House Republican representatives voted against a bill that was 28 million for formula funding. Like, I, I'm, I'm... Not every woman is capable of breastfeeding. No. Not every woman is capable of pumping. No. Either, because it's painful. I want a man to latch it, have a baby latch onto their nipples and be sucking them like a cow. Like, and you tell me, their, na their nipples chafing and bleeding, all uncomfortable, and I want them to tell me that they pro -lat. Legit. But what gets me is the fact that like, I don't even think they're looking, excuse me, these men who are in this house are looking at the fact that there's many reasons why these women are Can't not breastfeed. breastfeeding. They can be drug addicts, they can be on drugs. I was going to say, like, yeah, uh, medications. Yeah, different kinds of medications. It can be medication. disabilities. And speaking of disability, I birthed our 13-year-old son and I was pumping. And this, this is not to brag or anything like that, but this is just to show how I helped and I brought up another woman who was in the same situation as me, which is who gave birth a week and a half after me. I was able to pump 16 to 20 ounces of milk every single night that's just nighttime that's not even throughout the day and i had so much milk that i was the freezer was clogged but not clogged it was it was full the deep freezer was full i legit was like i am going out of my mind this was before uh um NICU's was allowing moms to have their breast milk and ship it in to give to the preemies where they, these parents who aren't able to do it but anyways my friend who was uh she has cerebral palsy there we go she has cerebral palsy and on her left side she couldn't and also too she was on medication so there's two factors that prevented her from actually breastfeeding breastfeeding her child i was like yo you know what i got all this milk guess what i'm gonna deliver you some milk and literally weekly i will bring her a load of milk and she was like yo jay thank you for doing this because i would not have been able to feed my baby the fact that my baby was frail and now he's like this chunky old thing. What the hell are you eating? I said, I eat healthy. I eat clean. Like, you know, I just, I got that good ass milk. But anyways, the fact that I was able, I'm actually getting chills when I'm talking about this. I was actually able to help another woman in a moment where she couldn't go ahead and feed her baby. So you're telling me, one, that these women have to carry these babies. Two, they can't abort the baby. Three, they have to feed the baby. But yet, if she can't feed the baby, the government is allowing her to starve her baby. But then the baby dies and then what? She's at fault. She gotta go to jail. But the government takes no blame in all their all their decisions and dictations that they go ahead and put out there. But yet, we have to hold it down. How sweet. With no help. With no help, no nothing. Therefore... I think we're gonna wrap this up because this video can go on and on, on and, and on and on about on. these unpopular opinions about men and women's health and how they women's rights. 
how they feel like they can dictate our lives when they don't know what it's like to be us or walk into our shoes. I swear, if a man had a chance to walk inside a woman's shoes for a week, he will fold. He won't make it. He will fold. He will make it. And <laughs> he will fold. Therefore, if you had enjoyed this video, please comment down below below comment down below that uh you want a part two yes and more content that you want to see please let us know we would love to like pump that out for you and make sure you like comment and subscribe and hit yes. that post notification absolutely bell and um we Which, love you thank you for sticking around for our tea and um we'll see you in the next video